Hello LEGO fans, Jar of Bricks here. This time I've come with a slightly different type of video. It's going to be a room tour. I'm just going to show you the areas that are not normally on camera, how I store my LEGO, uh, how I organize it, and uh, show you things that aren't usually in the videos that I typically make. So let me get on with it. So starting in the messiest part, uh, over by Green Lantern's Blackest Night picture. I've got a bucket full of brick separators. And then I've just got some uh, old sweet jars I found in my mum's garage. Here you've just got a few green bits, which I'm slowly sorting out into a compartment of their own. Uh, one filled with little fence panels, an empty one, which I've just emptied yesterday into my new organizer. Uh, here you've got all of like the suspension and uh, fen uh, bigger fence, I suppose, panel things. And then um, bits of people. I've been buying quite a bit off um, uh, Facebook. I've been getting loads of bits of people in that. So uh, th at the moment, that's the graveyard for minifigures there, I suppose. And then just a quick look in the tunnel past my toolbox. Uh, you've got a few boxes there behind the assembly square and bits of carpet because it was hurting my knees and a bit of a graveyard there you've got the uh, delivery center a train a bus the old skate park um, a fallen a fallen uh, crushed destroyed arkham asylum uh, which i just need to um, fix well actually i probably am going to just destroy it completely um, and then put it back in my collection. So moving over to my bricks. Here's my storage container with all my bricks. Now when I um, store my stuff, I typically go on part, um, except for the bricks, I go on color. And what I'll show you, you'll understand what I mean as, as I show you. So. Um, here we've got various pinks, oranges, browns and creams and beige, tans, all sorts in there, greens, yellows, light bluish grey and dark bluish grey red, black, blue, whites, and purples. I'll show you that in a second. And then uh, you notice there's some trays on the top there. So these trays are just things that I want to sort out and I just kind of throw them in there. Um, you've got all sorts of bits and bobs, car bits, um, ladders, stairs, pillars, and uh, that. Oh, I can't, let me just try. There you go. Sorry, I'm one handed. Um, that is uh, from the top of the Parisian restaurant roof, which I want to put into a building. I just haven't had a chance yet. And some um, jail cell bars in that one and then let me just readjust the light so you can see better okay so here I've got a few trays so these are just all sort of my uh, Technic bits there they uh, haven't been sorted I need a, a proper home for Technic bits um, a few uh, friends dolls they should be in the other part actually I've got another section for friends dolls and um, nets which would never get used and then the other one is windows of various sizes that's from the um, first assembly square that I bought in color and then here, this is the going to be the uh, section with all of the gardening stuff, which, like I said before, I need to sort out that one there. 
uh, and bring it over into this one and then my final one of these is it's kind of a bit of a hodgepodge again just chuck stuff in before it gets sorted out and now I've moved that I can show you that that is purples okay so let me go on to the boxes okay so starting with box number one at the bottom here this is a graveyard of car bits and helicopter bits and when I open that box it just smells of rubber uh, so very rarely go into that um, if I want to make a few car mocks get a few bits out but um, don't really use that it's very rare that I do uh, these are all arches so things like that and then the typical arch but then also the uh, whatever they're called in there so anything that is remotely has a round edge to it and then we have windows of various sizes and shapes all piled into that one and here we've got uh, panels glass one by two by fives rock faces and just generally bigger pieces in there and then this one that is my internal bits so as I build things I tend to demolish them to make mocks but I like to keep the internal build little furniture bits and bobs um, to using other areas such as the tree from birch books and that's one from the Chinese temple fair a petrol station a bed big bed a dinosaur triceratops head an ice lolly from the new 12 in 1 a roof from the temple square a diner from the shrimp shrack a bit of Batman's um, computer from the Batcave arcade a cup a little bookshelf a grandfather clock feels like the generation game um, another arcade a little flower piece bookshelf and so on so um, there's just a load of bits that are fully made uh, which I go round and uh, after I've made something I go through the box and just see if I can use any in any particular mock that I've made so that's that one and the final one on this side is sloped pieces so this is just anything that is sloped in any way they actually shouldn't be in there put them up there for doing later so anything that's got a slope in it anything at all all goes in here okay so now I'll show you this side so before I just show you what's in the boxes behind the boxes we've got some uh, a load of road plates that are surplus to requirements um, a load of uh, train track of course they're all arches and a few uh, bases for train mocks some of the free gifts uh, my long-term goal is to do a mock of a car factory so I want to get as many of these Lamborghinis as I can um, to make that so under here so this is just my sticker book 
where I've just got various th stickers that I have not used. I haven't used these ones because my city is DC based, not Marvel. And same for them. These are mostly from the free stick, not free, the paid sticker pack from the uh, train, uh, one of the train sets. And I'm coming towards the end now, I think. Yeah, so that's just my book where I keep all my stickers and then a base plate underneath it. And then this is just a tray and that's all two by twos and just ones. And I can quite easily just pick that up because I'm using that all of the time. So these are just all plates of various sizes. And um, I have got a mixture of plates with curves and plates with angles in there. I do want to split them up in the future, but at this moment in time, that's just plates. And they are anything bigger than two studs wide because I have a box uh, purely for ones that are two studs wide, which is here. So like I said before, with my bricks, I put them in size, um, sorry, I organize them in color and not size. Uh, but with my plates and things, I org organize them in size. So for example, here's my uh, two by four plates. Um, of, and I can just, I've got them all just stacked up and I can just see quite easily the color I want. And all of those are the same. These are um, two by threes, six by twos, exact same way eight more six by twos and well they tens or twelves um, and yep so that's just all uh, various sizes of plates that are two by something so that's got they're in a box of their own and then the next one is exactly the same but this time it's one by whatever so here's my um, one by twos I can just see the color that I want by doing this and then just snap it as I need it. Uh, or just twos, more one by twos, one by two modified, six by one, four by one. So anything that's whatever by one um, goes in there. And I've also got the L shaped version as well and that's just filled up with that box and while I was over here I should have showed you that box is just full of manuals and then I just got those boxes of clothes back there um, and I just use all my boxes to hide it down at the bottom here Right, let me show you my organization trays. Okay, so these are my um, small storage containers and many people ask me what they are and they are the Von ha Hoss House. Um, 30-ish drawers or something like them, like that. And I've got four of them. And the one over here is the Draper uh, 48. I think it is something like that um, but yeah I'll, I'll show you in a minute so here we've just got um, all of the I don't know what they're called but those type of ones and next to it them I'm gonna try and not go through every single one but brackets there's all of the little L things uh, cheese wedges double cheese wedges uh, yeah there you go I'm not going to go through every single drawer hopefully you can see I just had to recently change this from a little one to a big one because they're getting more and more and assembly square came with a ton of those uh, jumpers as well 
so it'll be even fuller. Um, studs, the modified brick with the stud on its side, and these are various forms of that. They, those cylinders were in the, the pot that's on the floor. I've just moved them into this. A couple of empty ones. And then these are what sh should have been in here before from the other box. And we've got a few slopes and we start to get to the um, Technic parts over here, not many of them. Uh, this one here is mainly tiles of various sizes. So, oh, hang on, I need to swatch my hand, it's going. So, you've got tans, the bottom row here are all dark bluish grey of various sizes. The next level are light bluish grey of various sizes. And then we've got our tans and browns. I've mixed these a little bit because I've got enough. Um, for example, that's just mixtures of blue, mixtures of green, and so on. So they're just all tiles. We come to over to the Draper ones. Now these, um, I, I, I like these because they've got a divider in them. The other ones didn't have the divider, uh, but I think the quality of the Von Haas ones are better, but I like the divider in this one. So um, as long as it's fixed to the wall, it doesn't really matter. Um, the weakness of the Draper one is it, stuff can go out the back, but as it's screwed to the wall, it really makes no difference to me. And so these are just, uh, I won't go through every tray again. There's two things in every one of them, um, but they're all, all sorts of uh, you know, bits of food in that one and tools, brushes, spades, transparent bits there, an empty one. And at the bottom here, these are all um, profile bricks. So they're just all stacked up. Got a lot of them from the Lego shop. And then the final bit, I've just got these in um, pick a brick cups. And that's because I just wanted to keep them out to remind me what colors I've got. And uh, every time I'd go to order anything on Bricklink, I try to get a few more um, to make a mock using those colors. And that's it. That is the room tour, the bit that you'd not normally see. So thank you for watching. Tell us what you think, how you organize your stuff. One more thing I forgot is um, I've recently done this with all my stickers and tiles. If you follow me on Instagram, uh, you would have already seen these. And uh, I did have them in uh, one of these and I was just rummaging through everywhere looking for one that I needed and it was annoying. So I decided to stick them on some plates and that way I can see them all. I've left a few gaps so I can um, get to them if I want any of them. Incidentally, instead of using the um, brick separator, I use this. It's just a metal rule and it's dead thin, never budges, and it's so easy. Oh, there you go, to use that. Never gets damaged, doesn't damage the Lego. Um, if you do it right, dead easy. So that's just a recommendation. And that's it, so thank you for watching. I apologize if my camera got a little bit wobbly in there. Um, it's easier, this type of thing, to keep it in hand rather than in the typical stand that I would use. So thank you for watching and goodbye.